Hello, welcome to another QA Auto Man tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create your own expected conditions um, for Selenium. And uh, I have a few comments uh, about making this video, and I promised I would do it, so let's get into it. Um, so before I had um, weights being used uh, for, for the login, and I wanted to make sure that that this email field uh, was clickable before I can start actually setting the text inside um, each of the different um, fields of the login. So <clears throat> I, I wanted to be able to, let's say, um, let's look at what is already there for inspected conditions. Um, so I'm going to come back over here and let's just take a look. Uh, so wait dot until expected conditions dot what do we have so you'll notice there's a alert is present uh, title is is this um, it's a boolean if you look over here it tells you what kind of um, uh, object type is being um, used for the check for the expected condition uh, web driver web boolean um, <clears throat> so let's say we wanted to dot waiting for an element to be present so presence uh, invisibility of element by locator um, let's see text invisibility of all elements so you can pass a list um, so let's say uh, visibility of element um, I can only do it by locator it doesn't seem to be a visibility of just element by passing an element um, I can do a list of elements uh, but let's say we wanted I wanted to create my own um, you know visibility of element uh, that's not there so I'm gonna create a class it's called my weights <clears throat> and public static static and we wanna do expected condition and we want this to be a boolean because we wanna say is this visible yes or no um, so visible uh, uh, visibility of element. I'm just going to call it this because it's going to be my weights dot this. So we want to be passing in a web element element. So you already have it by locators, but we were using um, we're using page objects. We already have our elements here. We don't we don't have our by dot css selector. Um, so that's kind of a disadvantage for us. However, now we can create our own weights. Um, let me import some classes. <clears throat> so here we're going to return the new expected condition boolean. And it will auto-generate the class um, required um, methods for you. So here it's asking that we, um, have, we have this boolean apply. Um, it's pulling from this boolean here, um, and in here is what will be returned every time we're pulling during our wait. So back, I have a video that explains weights, um, and you can find that in uh, the description that will be linked, um, and this will explain how weights work. Um, but for now, we're going to kind of jump ahead, and <clears throat> so in here is what we're going to be looking for. So we want to return if the element dot is displayed. So <clears throat> this will keep returning um, every time it pulls, um, is this element displayed? And if, uh, if this ever is true, it will stop pulling and then say, hey, this is done. We're going to move forward. Um, but let's say you open a page and you say, is this element displayed? But the element's actually not present. So we kind of have to do a try-catch um, for kind of anything that would make this false. So what would make this false? If, uh, for example, let's do <clears throat> is no such element exception. Uh, e. So if if it tries to look for this element and it's not displayed um, it's not even on the page it will throw this error which we know about 
Um, so in this case, we're going to just return false, right? We because we want it to repull because we want this to be true. Um, otherwise, we're going to fail the test saying we waited, we waited, we waited. It's not there. Um, w another one um, that I'm I'm familiar with uh, that happens every so often is a a stale element uh, reference exception. And this will usually occur where, let's say, <clears throat> we we cache this into uh, a web element. So we cache this uh, into uh, into another variable, and we're just using that variable to say uh, it would be something like. Um, I know I'm going on tangent, but these are always fun. Let's say I'm in here and I say web element. Um, uh, save this equals boom and then I'm saying like save this dot uh, click and then I'm doing save this dot uh, get attribute class <clears throat> well whenever I'm calling save this it's already cached this element so if any time the source code, uh, the source code changes the the locator to get to this element. Ever changes, it will throw a stale element uh, reference exception. So um, you always want to be careful when storing elements into um, variables because if you have any kind of like AJAX call or some kind of something that you know changes the page up, and then you try to reference this guy um, and the locator has changed, um, you'll you'll break. So um, just always be careful about that. Um, that's why using this uh, setup is really nice because it will always kind of do a like a refined. Um, just keep that in mind. Um, but moving forward, um, so if this occurs, we also want to return false. Now, <clears throat> um, so let's see visibility of element. Let's 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 try this out. Or Facebook main. Um, you know what? Let's run this. Let's see. Wait dot until, and we actually now have our my weights dot visibility of element, and we're gonna run this guy. So now we have our uh, weight here. Um, and let's see, we want to make sure this actually works. Uh, we'll even put a system, not system clock, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, System.println, and we're going to say, I am found. Bang, 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 bang. Um, okay, so what? what is using... Login. Let's go to the login test. Where is this? Is being called login. Okay, this test will fail because uh, my password is not public. Um, it's a dummy account, anyways. But um, I do change it. So we're gonna run this test. It's gonna be running on Firefox. Running on Firefox. Run in. All right, so, oh, it's running all the tests. <laughs> um, unable to find locator. Oh, so it said I'm found, though. So we did the wait <clears throat> and said I'm found. So we're going to try something different. And so we're passing this in. This will work. However, we're going to do driver. We're going to say driver dot get. Actually, uh, we're going to go back to the login page, that, that test. And we're going to say driver dot get HTTP google.com. You know what? We're going to run it. We're going to run it and see what happens. So here, join Facebook.com, go to Google. And it's going to fail. Test. 
10 seconds. Uh, timeout waiting for utilities. My wait. Okay, perfect. That's what we were looking for. Okay. So, <clears throat> I was afraid. I, I, I totally, yeah. So, it was 10 seconds. Um, and it wasn't found, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so, so cool thing about this. Um, you're like, what? What just happened? <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Um, so what had happened is, at first we went to Google, right? And now it's gonna look for this email field. Well, we know this email field does not exist, right? We we know. Um, and uh, so when it tries to come to the look for the visibility of this element, it has 10 seconds and it's gonna keep looking. Is displayed, you know, returns false. Um, you know, actually, I need even some some printing here. Print ln. Um, no such element here. <coughs> um, this is a good example how this will work no nope, such a so it keeps checking keeps checking for 10 seconds it's going to keep checking no such element here until finally it fails still check it <laughs> this is it re-ran re again <clears throat> so like i said it's going to keep pulling every half oh i didn't say half second the default is half second but um it's going to keep pulling for this element over and over and over and over and over again until um, it's displayed. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something really kind of fancy, just gonna show you how this works. <clears throat> so it will pull, and you can add all kinds of logic in here too. So don't don't think it's just just is the element displayed. I mean, the simple you know simplicity is the ultimate sophistication, right? So try to keep it simple. But uh, I'm just going to kind of show you if there's no such element, it's going to try to go to Facebook and then it's going to try again and it's going to be there. Um, I'm even going to add a Boolean um, a redirect equals true or false equals false. Um, if redirect then web driver get equals true and we will add, oh it's yelling at me because it's not static it needs to be static what what is it yelling at me for oh can i not spell What is going on? Yeah, no, static. Oh. Who knows how to code? Not me. Uh, static. <laughs> okay. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to recap. So from, from the Facebook login, um, let me close all these. Okay, so from this, it's going to load the page, which is Facebook.com. Then we're going to go to Google.com and where we're going to try to run the login. From login, we're going to be looking for this email field, but we're on google.com. And it's going to run through this visibility of elements. Um, with this, it will say, is the element displayed? We know it's not displayed. So, it, And we know that this is going to be thrown. When this is thrown, it's going to print the no such element is here. And then we're going to say, uh, we want to redirect to facebook.com um, and then we're going to set this redirect true so it doesn't keep it's going to go fast so it won't have time to load up the page so once it's near that it's going to keep looking keep looking and then finally boom it's going to be found so I'm going to run this <clears throat> and we'll even see it's on Google no such element boom Facebook see if you noticed um, we got to the Facebook main um, after that. So uh, that got printed on the login test. Yeah, loaded the 
loaded the loaded the page login main load the page login main so <clears throat> that's kind of how you can start kind of creating your uh, different weights I'm gonna delete all this because you don't need this in here um, all the different weights you can do all kinds of really cool things um, you can just do a sim I mean if you really wanted to you can just do an all-in-one just you know wait right and then you can pass in a boolean um, or like just a condition and <clears throat> return uh, what we want to do is you want to just say hey uh, I want to return this when you know this condition's true otherwise just you know uh, just keep going so you just say hey re return condition um, and you don't even need to worry about uh, anything else uh, that's it simple simple as that um, you say you're just saying wait for whatever I want and you're gonna be waiting for however long the wait was set to which I think was 10 seconds I'm um, set back to five uh, it'll just keep waiting and waiting until X is true um, so yeah there's some really cool um, things you can start doing with this um, I know I just kind of just talked about booleans um, it could you know you can start start experimenting with this um, start doing all the different uh, you can wait to return a string and this uh, yeah so um, but really, uh, don't I mean? Uh, Selenium already has a lot of the built-in elements you need. Um, you know, they have all of the like I kind of showed you some of like the invisibility of is text present? Um, is the uh, is something clickable? So um, yeah, so feel free to play with this. Um, I'm gonna check this into the GitHub repo uh, for you guys to kind of look at. Uh, feel free to play around with whatever. Um, and so I like to say thank you for all the support. I know I've been gone, um, but uh, every week I'm gonna come out with a new video. So please, every week, uh, just look for my videos. Um, you know, share, like, comment ask your questions. I'm doing my best to keep up with the comments. Um, you guys rock. Uh, so you guys have a good one. Uh, until then, I'll see you online.